Hi, I'm Lee. I'm a scientist at Biobus. Welcome to the first weekly Explore at Home challenge. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a device that will run experiments on bugs that we can find inside or outside of our home. So first step, let's find a bug. We need a spoon or something to touch the bugs with and a container, something to put the bugs into. We need to find an area with some sort of debris. That's scary. Kind of cute. Okay. Second step, build your experimental device. I looked in my recycling bin for potential materials. Also in my Tupperware drawer. I know many of you are currently stuck at home like me. You can also find bugs in your home. I used to be able to be in the subway, in my school, in the library, at a concert, movie theaters. Now, my choices are limited to my bed, the couch, the kitchen, the bathroom, the hallway. Even so, I'm still making choices to be in different places depending on what I want at the moment. A bug's choices usually involve being under a log, in the grass, on a tree, inside a flower. I want to simplify the bug's choices and build an experimental device that scientists call a choice chamber. I want to give my bug only two environments to choose from so I can test if it likes this or that. Then I will remove it and do it over and over and over again and mark its choices every time. That way I can generate data and that I can share in the links below. So we made three different versions of the choice chamber. Version one with some cardboard and tape. You need scissors for this one. This one with some additional cardboard and tape. Also need scissors for this one and also just cardboard, which you don't need scissors for and can use your hands to rip. For any of your choice chambers, you can put pretty much anything in either of those chambers. Now that you have the basic inspiration for the kinds of materials you'll need and the kinds of bugs you could find, try it yourself at home and post photos or videos or even your data in the survey in the link below and we'll see you next week. Thank you.